Dearly beloved, if you are a Christian, then you are a new creation. The Word of God tells us in 2 Corinthians 5 and 17, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things have, are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Dearly beloved, if you are a true Christian, then you are a new creation in Christ. For the Word of God tells us that, first of all, you have to be in Christ. And there is a great difference. That's what divide those who say that they are Christians, but truly they are not, because they are not in Christ. And how we get in Christ, we get in Christ by Christ living on the inside of us. And that make us part of the broader family, the body of Christ. Not everybody who says, I am a Christian, is a Christian. It's simply a title. But according to God's word, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Dearly beloved, he has been recreated by God. There is something completely different about him. He has been molded and shaped by God. And now he's a new creature. There's a new spirit living on the inside of him. There's a new spirit that directs his life now. He no longer or she no longer follows their own spirit, but their spirit is guided by the Holy Spirit. Now, as a believer, we need the mind of of Christ in us and that's where the Word of God comes in place where now we can use the Word of God to renew our minds so that's why it's so very important that we constantly and consistently fill our minds with the Word of God not the Word of man if we take our time and look at what society is saying Look at all the news that is happening around us. Dearly beloved, we get to the point where we become faithless. The more of the word we put in us, the more faith is built. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by God's word. And dearly beloved, there must be an understanding of what is being shared. For the word says, uh, we are pat the old things are passed away. Behold, all things are or have become new. So the born again believer immediately have a changed state, a changed way of thinking. But that does not make us immune to the fact that we can go back to the world if we don't watch our steps and the things that we allow in our lives and that is the old things coming back in our lives so dearly beloved make sure that you recognize that you are a new creation in God because God is now creating you forming you but he did his part now is up to you and I to do our part and that is through the study of God's word Amen. And the meditation of his word that our spirit might grow, that our mental capacity in faith might grow. God bless you today. And Lord Jesus, come quickly.